Hello everyone. Uh, today, welcome back to my channel. Today we're on part two of the uh, jackfruit enchilada casserole that I'm going to be making. Um, the first part I showed you how to make the enchilada sauce. And today we're going to be making the stuffing that goes in my casserole. So what you're going to be needing is three peppers. Uh, you can use red peppers, you can use green peppers, yellow peppers, or you can just use a combination of all three. I'm going to use a combination of all three. Um, you're going to need three onions, large, diced up. You're going to need one diced up and two sliced and wedges. Sorry guys, today I don't have a camera, man, so I'm playing it solo. So, here's the peppers. That, that's for the casserole. You see I cut them cut in slices. Um, and then you're going to need these chopped up. Uh, this is for the refried beans because we're going to put refried beans in it. And the other one is going to be for the sauce for the jackfruit. Uh, you're going to need tomato, achote, what they call achote paste. That's this. Yeah, wrong side. This is it. It's called achote condimentado. This is like a paste. It's achote, which is a natto seed, and it's crushed up, and it's got seasoning, and it's got like cumin and stuff like that. You're going to need oregano, preferably Mexican oregano. You're also going to need uh, cumin, uh, orange juice. I'll go ahead and show you what I got here. This is the orange juice. I have lime juice. I'll put all the portions in the, in the comments. Uh, garlic, the onion as I stated. You're going to need white vinegar. All right. And... I got here a nice pot of uh, fresh pinto beans that I made. Okay, so we're going to make some refried beans to go along with that. And uh, I apologize if this video comes out rather sketchy, but like I said, I don't have a camera, man. So let's get the ball rolling. Um, to make it easy, I'm going to do it like in portions. I'm going to get the refried beans going first. Uh, actually, the jackfruit, because it takes longer. It's going to take about a half hour for it to cook. And then we'll start on the beans and the stuffing. And you're going to need also tortillas. And I need like 36 shells of tortillas because I'm making a 9 by 13 pan. Uh, that'll feed about 8, eight to 10 people. Um, I think that's it. Oh, and you're going to need salt and plenty of oil. We'll be starting in a minute. So, here's the jackfruit. It comes in a can. You want to make sure it's in brine or in water. You don't want it in syrup, okay? And this is the jackfruit here. I'll show it to you. Um, I don't know. You see this jackfruit here? I, I like taking these little seeds out. That. Because they're, they're a little tough. You see? So I, I pop those out. And I also cut. You see this part right here? I cut that. Because this is really chewy. Yeah. Probably some people are thinking this guy's being wasteful. It's not. This is really chewy. I don't care for it in my in my casserole. So I pop all these seeds out and I cut this. Cut this part off. I just leave the fiber. See, this is real. This is almost hard. I mean, it's like you can cook this forever and it still won't fall apart. So. And then I pop these seeds out. So let me go ahead and get this done. And I'll show you the next step. So we are back. Um, I got all of the jackfruit. I did three 10 ounce cans. So uh, I got them all. I just left them in chunks. Like I said, I just took out the, that little pit. And I have here... Um, I got about an eighth cup of oil. I'm gonna go ahead and put this to fry. That's all the jackfruit there. Just throw it in there, let it cook. Make sure you got a nice big pan. All right. We're gonna go ahead and brown these. And I have here my uh, my blender, 
So we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce. So I got orange juice. Lime juice, lime or lemon, it doesn't matter. And that was a cup of orange juice, two limes, the juice of two limes, one head of one onion, medium, four garlic cloves, an eighth cup of white vinegar, distilled vinegar. I have a tablespoon of Mexican oregano and a teaspoon of cumin. Two ounces of the achote paste. And then I'm gonna put about a half a cup of water just to get it started. Let me get this started here. Away. I'm gonna blend it up really good. Well, that's going. Let me go ahead and get a colander because we're going to need a colander. So here's the jackfruit. Just brown it, just brown it a little bit, nothing major. I think it's a little easier with a fork. I don't know if you're here all day trying to flip these over with a sponge. Then over here I have another eighth cup of oil, good for the refried beans. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in one whole onion. Let that come up too. Let that come up. Let me cook this up for let me cook this up for a few minutes and I'll be back. So here we are, we're back. Um, let me show you here. Here I have the the onions, and I like them really dark, believe it or not. I just put in the garlic right now. I'm just literally gonna let it simmer like 30 seconds and that's it. And take it off the heat. Then here I have the jackfruit. See how nice and dark that is? I went ahead and I strained the, um, the achote sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it in there. Look at that beautiful red sauce.
Now I'm going to let this go ahead and cook on medium heat. What I'm going to do is go, go ahead and cover it for the first 15 minutes so it can simmer. And once it simmers, I'll go ahead and break up the jackfruit so it'll look like pulled pork. And then I'll leave it uncovered until it gets nice and thick. All right. Uh, I have here, I soaked about a, two cups of beans. But I'm just going to go ahead and refry all of it uh, liquid. And I'm going to puree it. goes in my frying pan where I have the garlic. Sorry guys. This is this is pretty tough, you know, doing this video without without somebody actually filming it for me. So and here goes the beans. A lot of beans. Wanna go ahead? Ahead and um, salt to season. And I'm going to put in about a, let's say, hmm, half a tablespoon of it again. And The same thing in comino, cumin. Salt to taste. Uh, I don't bathe my beans in, in oil. Traditional refried beans have a lot of oil in them. If you don't want to do this, just go ahead and buy yourself vegetarian refried beans. Because uh, traditional refried beans are made with lard. So. And that's it for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let all this cook for about a good 15, 20 minutes. Show you a little trick about the refried beans if you don't wanna get splattered all over your stove. I take two chopsticks, one here, one here. Then I put the lid over it. That allows all the fumes to come out without making all the splattering all over your stove. And I went ahead and I changed the pots because I don't have that huge pot for my peppers so I put the jackfruit back there and I'm gonna go ahead and got the pot going here's all my peppers there's one yellow pepper one red pepper one orange pepper and onion I'm just gonna let it saute for a little bit. I don't want I don't want them real tender. I want them a little have a little bite to them. So I'm gonna let this cook down and sprinkle some salt. By the way, I also added the uh, I added salt to my jackfruit. I forgot to mention that. And I'm gonna put a cover on my peppers and let that cook for a little bit. So here we are guys, this is the jackfruit. You see how it's thickened quite a bit? Um, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of sugar, or vegan sugar of course. Stir that up and then start breaking your, start breaking your Jackfruit, you see how it's starting to fall apart? And then we're gonna let this thicken up even a little bit further, but now you're gonna to have to really keep an eye on it because it will stick on you. Okay, so break it all up. 
See how I'm breaking it up? And it starts looking like pulled pork. And here I have my peppers. I don't want them to brown, I just want them to wilt. All right? Because this is gonna cook more in the oven. Remember all the beans I had? Look at how, look at how, how much is reduced. And this is only 10 minutes. So keep an eye on it, because as, as it goes thickening, it becomes, it can burn on you. So keep an eye on it. And uh, keep breaking up your jackfruit. And I'll be back to start frying some, some tortillas to start getting our assembling our our casserole dish. Alrighty? So here we are. You see how nice and thick the beans are? That's how you want them. Here's the meat, or the jackfruit I should say. It's come out really delicious. I did add it. I did add one more tablespoon of sugar. It was a little bitter. It all depends on the brand of the achote paste that you use. So some, you might have to add a little, a little bit extra sugar. But it came out really delicious. And here I have my oil. Here I have my tortillas. And the plate. And you're just gonna dip them in the oil. Make sure your oil's hot. You're not making tostadas, so. Take it out, literally like in and out. That prevents your tortillas from falling apart. I didn't say this was, you know, a figure friendly dish, so <laughs> don't hold me to it. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fry these tortillas up. I'm gonna do 36. Nah, eh, I'll probably do 32. 18, 20, 27, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going to do 27. If I need more, I'll come back and fry them. All right, so I'll be back when they're all done. So here we are. We're ready to assemble all this. And we're going to go ahead and start um, with the sauce. I got my enchilada sauce here. Here we are. I'll put the link to the recipe. Um, you know guys, if you guys are lazy and you don't want to cook, you can always buy the enchilada sauce at the store, but you know, I like my enchilada sauce, my homemade one, because it's got a nice smoky flavor, it's more, it's closer to authentic, I mean it's my version, so I don't know how authentic it is, but it is all authentic Mexican herbs and spices and chilies and all that kind of good stuff. So you're going to put, go ahead and put your coat of enchilada sauce on the bottom, that will prevent it from sticking. Put your tortilla. And I ended up frying 24, because I just remembered it only takes 6 per, per layer, so you're going to overlap it a little bit. Alright. And... Put a little bit, you don't have, since there's sauce on the bottom, you don't have to like smother this. I just put a little bit. It doesn't have to be all perfect. Okay. And go ahead, put my beans, just a real thin layer. You could also buy refried beans in a can, vegetarian, as I said earlier. It's all up to you. At least this will give you the idea. But this is this is my homemade enchilada. 
I made it for a potluck and everybody was going insane. It's like, give me the recipe, give me the recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead. And here's the uh, jackfruit and achote sauce. I just dump it all in one layer. I did wash my hands, guys, just in case you're wondering. That's the jackfruit there. It looks pretty, doesn't it? And the rest of it. Three cans of jackfruit. You want a nice, even layer. And when you're cooking the jackfruit, when you taste it, it's gonna taste bitter, but don't don't go off by that because all these flavors are gonna meld in the oven. So it'll even out. Like I told you, I ended up putting up an, another tablespoon of sugar. That does cut the bitterness a little bit. But that's what makes it work, believe it or not. Go ahead, put your another layer of tortilla. Put more enchilada sauce. This you can be very generous with. All these sauces complement each other, so which is nice. The enchilada sauce has a little bite to it, which complements the rest of it. Put your other layer of beans. Everything gets a layer of beans, unless you don't like beans, and then put. <laughs> Layer it however you want. Use your own creativity. I just give you the basic tools, you run with it. Don't worry about all this slopping, all this sauce, all this thickens up. And here we are. peppers all of your peppers now, doesn't that look pretty they look mighty pretty to me and there we are then your final layer of tortillas I got one here that's not being too cooperative. I don't know why. Now on the top, uh, on the top I put several layers. I put one in the middle. So, so that's it. That's it. Now, pour the rest of your enchilada sauce. Now, the enchilada sauce that I made, the recipe, is pretty much just for this recipe. But when I make it, I make a boatload of it and then I freeze it. Because it's nice and convenient just to have already made. Okay. Now this is going to go in 350 degree oven, it's going to bake like for 45 minutes, the rest of my enchilada sauce, and then you're going to let it sit for about 20 minutes before you slice into it, so all the flavors, everything will get nice and firm. And then it's going to be wrapped, so I don't like foil touching my food, so I put a pieces of wax paper and In the oven, 
350, 40, 45 minutes covered the entire time. Because if it's not covered, the shells on the top will get very crunchy. Unless that's what you want. So I'll be back, show you how I how I serve it, alright? So here we are, finally. Took it out of the oven. I let it sit for let's say 20 minutes just to be on the safe side. So um went ahead and sliced the piece so you can take a look at it. And this here is some homemade sour cashew sour cream. So it's not chilled, so when it chills it'll get nice and thick. But here it is. That's how I would serve it. Nice glob of sour cream on it. And I will share my recipe for the cashew sour, sour cream. Anyway, that's how I serve it. If you want to put guacamole on it, you can put guacamole. If you want to put uh, cashew nacho cheese sauce over it, I've done it that way also. So let me go ahead and dig into this. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, that looks sinful. So... guys that's insane anyway um, I apologize if the video came out a little shaky again I didn't have anybody um, to record for me so but I wanted to get this recipe out for you because some of some people were waiting for the actual recipe so that being said thanks for tuning in oh and like I said if you want to use enchilada sauce made it from the store go right ahead if you want to use refried beans from the store go right ahead make it your own folks I'm just giving you the my recipe, because a lot of people do enjoy when I make this. So, again, thanks for tuning in. Peace. And Vegan. Take care, everyone. Ciao.